We're here at the Spindletop Farm, which is the University of Kentucky's uh, research farm, and we are celebrating Hemp History Week. Hemp is a crop that was grown for centuries here in the United States. It had a long history of being grown here in Kentucky. This is the second year in a row that they've been able to plant hemp for research here, and they're looking at it as a potential to replace uh, tobacco for, for farmers here. Kentucky farmers already know how to do this. We really want to see this, this, uh, this model work for Kentucky. There's a resurgence uh, in hemp interest, especially in younger people. It's very important for our young people to involved in agriculture because where's the food without the farmer? The greener technologies are moving forward and I think we would all agree that's a very positive thing and the hemp fibers can certainly contribute to that end. We're hopeful for the day when hemp does become a, a commodity and far, far less of an oddity. Hemp is going to be an alternative for farmers to grow a sustainable crop that is environmentally friendly. Hemp can be made into sustainable products like paper, sustainable housing. From the fiber on the stalk, you can do textiles. Hemp foods such as hemp seed, protein, and oil. It's up to the consumer to buy the product or demand the product. Consumers will see these products and, and realize that they're really beneficial in their daily lives. We've literally got hundreds of millions of dollars worth of hemp products being sold in the United States that are all produced from hemp grown in Canada and Europe and uh, China. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that American farmers wouldn't be able to grow it. There's a lot of opportunities for uh, people to get involved. Hemp History Week is an opportunity for people to engage their communities around education. Hundreds of grassroots organizers are supporting industrial hemp across the nation, educating their communities, hosting events such as fashion shows, documentary screenings, tabling and passing out information at farmers markets. Now that we're able to legally plant in certain states, people are hosting hemp plantings. You can take action by writing your members of Congress and let them know that you support seeing hemp brought back to American agriculture. It's very exciting to be on the forefront of this research. The future is wide open for this crop. Learn more about Hemp History Week at hemphistoryweek.com.